Okay, folks, here we are again at the uh, Wapiti Trailhead. Uh, a couple bison over there. Okay, once again, we're going to uh, try to make it to Fairyland this time. Uh, as you know, we didn't make it uh, last time, uh, but this time uh, we're going to try. Uh, we have another person joining us uh, tomorrow, and we're going to venture over to uh, Fairyland. We'll let you know uh, what happens. So uh, we're ready to go off, and I'll talk to you later. Have a great adventure! Okay, here we are. <clears throat> Here we are, we've arrived at the Moss Creek Campground. Uh, Mike's doing some uh, calculations. Going up around here. See the campsite. <clears throat> There's the bear pole. Haven't put anything up because, as I said, we just arrived here. It's warm. Wind, slight breeze. Mosquitoes aren't real bad. So while we have a chance, uh, we're going to go wash up. Moving down from the tent down to the uh, cooking area. Mike's trying to build a fire, but he seems to be more successful at uh, <coughs> creating smoke. Okay, we are now uh, bushwhacking to Joseph's Coat Springs. As you can see, we're moving through a fairly open forest. Uh, there's no trails. Going's okay, kind of rough, but we're moving along. Okay, we're about a mile from our calculations. As you can see, the train is still open woods, but it's getting kind of uphill, downhill, kind of ridgy. Uh, lots of dead fall, but uh, not anything really serious. Kind of warm today. Mosquitoes are out, but they're not attacking. Go to well, we were kind of in the middle of this really steep, I guess, kind of ravine or valley. Uh, we just came down this side over here. Uh, you can't see too well, but it was really steep. And uh, now we're going to go up this side. And we got all these uh, fallen trees and things in our way, so wish us luck. Okay, we've arrived at Joseph Coat Springs again. <clears throat> uh, we came in at a different angle. Uh, we came down and there's uh, two, uh, two pools of water. Not sure if they're uh, acid or not. We'll go up there and look at them a little closer. This is one. 
Okay, here's the second pool. Like I said, we'll move over there a little closer, get a view of them. Well, here it is. 25 years and five attempts later, I have finally made it to Joseph Coat Springs. I'm on top of a thermal ridge. Don't really uh, know yet where the campsite is. Mike went down there towards the valley to check it out. This is the ridge that I'm on top of. I need to check the map to find out kind of where I'm at. Uh, the place reeks with sulfur. Like I said, the place reeks with sulfur. Uh, here's a, a little uh, piece of sulfur rock. Okay, here we are at our <coughs> campsite here at uh, Joseph's Coat. You see the bare pole, we haven't put our food up yet. You can see our tent. See back there in the background you can see the um, <clears throat> Joseph Coat Springs coming across. Here's Mike. Oh, that's a little. Okay, folks, we're uh, now taking part in a living uh, history demonstration. Okay, you see, there, no. see Mike? Yes, they did. Okay, okay. yeah. Oh, uh, you see Mike's over here. He's building a fire. Um, now, two matches. He did it with just two matches. That's very good. Now, there's something interesting about this uh, fireplace uh, <coughs> from. Uh, evidence uh, from the Park Service. They believe that this uh, fire ring was built by one of the original exploration parties uh, here in Yellowstone. So we're having a fire in a fire ring that was built oh about a hundred and thirty years ago. So kinda neat. Okay on our way to Fairyland uh, we've just come up this very uh, steep hill and okay we're now at the top of the ridge okay Mike and Chris are over there checking the uh, GPS I could get our bearings we're up here now at the top of the ridge okay we've had a Long hard hike so far through very dense forest and down trees. Uh, we've come out to this meadow. Really nice meadow, but as you can see, it's completely surrounded by dense uh, forest. And quite honestly, uh, we're not sure where we are right now. But uh, we're going to consult the map and see if we can figure that out. It'd be nice if we could smell some sulfur. We're here at the outer edges of Coffee's Pot Hot Springs. 
Moving on through here, we'll hit the larger area. Okay, we're here above uh, Coffee Pot Hot Springs. Okay, here we are at the lower coffee pot hot springs. You can see the steam plume from the upper coffee pot. It's the meadow through there. And down the, some of the hot spring pools. Okay, we're up here at <coughs> the top uh, coffee hot springs.